Today is an exciting day here at our farm. It's the first time we're going to do a Facebook Live and a televised portion from our uh, schoolhouse. It's not very far from here at the house to the school. It's maybe 100 yards, 200 yards, not very far. But Indiana and I walk across every morning um, and uh, it's a fun trip to take every day. My sister Marcy lives right there. Um, we've lived in this farmhouse for about, I'd say around 20 years, 21 years now we've been fixing it up. And this is Joey's garden right here. It actually was a full garden until about a month ago and we cut it all down and now we're gonna get ready for the fall and winter time. Um, as I mentioned, that's my sister Marcy's house. My other sister Candy and her husband live on the other side of the schoolhouse. Um, we have about a hundred acres here, out past all the hay bales and the big hay barn is the corner. And then right here is where the cemetery is, where Joey's buried, and also the people who built our farmhouse. And of course, we've got lots of chickens. We've got a fully working farm, which is one of the neat things about the schoolhouse is we can integrate it into uh, the farm and integrate the farm into the schoolhouse. So. We have this egg mobile where we've got more roosters than chickens right now, but uh, between there and some of the other places, we've got quite a few hens that are laying. We also have our cows right over there and we do um, rotational grazing for those. And again, the kids get to be part of that every day. This used to be a little horse barn where we had our two horses, but uh, we've since moved them over across the way on the other side of the schoolhouse to my brother-in-law's place and we have a pony. The school has a pony also. Right back there, we're getting ready to put up a round pen because one of the guests at the schoolhouse is a cowboy this week and he's going to be training horses with the kids which is going to be really, really neat. We're about to turn this whole area into a, uh, a big barnyard filled with animals for the kids. We'll move the pony over here and we'll have lots of chickens run around there and ducks and you'll see a number of other things. The kids are on the playground right now. Miss Rebecca's over there and her assistant, Miss Sydney. We built this schoolhouse about three years ago and it's been amazing to see what has become of this just in a short amount of time. We'll walk through and then I'll show you a couple of other things. This is the classroom. Um, we just got some custom desks made from some folks here in our community in Chapel Hill. And it's really been a lot of fun. We've got this right here is the schoolhouse we modeled our school after. This is up in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, somewhere Indiana and I went up and visited. And then we came back here and we made one that's very similar. Let's go through this way. So this is the main classroom where most of the uh, day is spent, at least part of the day is spent. The kids are outside quite a bit too. We've got little bathrooms here for the kids with little bitty potties, which are pretty cute. And the original schoolhouse called Hardison Mill School was across the bridge, just about a mile and a half from here. And it's gone now, but this is what it looked like. And here's some of the early classes one of our teachers, uh, Miss Jan, who was here two years ago, this is her grandmother actually, which is pretty special to have that history. This is the kitchen area where the kids have lunch every day. It's also where we do a lot of, uh, a lot of activities, art and different things. And so there's a lot of things going on this morning because we're still getting in the routine of the daily schedule. 
So they'll be having lunch in here in a little bit. Actually, they'll probably have lunch today out there. They also learn to cook in here. We have a couple of different people who come and teach the kids how to cook. Then outside the back door, we have a Hobbit house. That's the thing people are most excited about. They call it a Hobbit house. We call it a Hobbit house, but it's actually a storm shelter and a canning cellar for the kids. As the kids learn how to can vegetables and things, they will all end up being in here. We just finished this, so it isn't set up yet. We're about to put in shelves all the way around. And actually, Miss Rebecca wants to put in um, shelvings with books and a rug in here so that the kids can actually have all the canned goods that are in here that this will uh, store. But it'll also be a little bit of a library for the kids. So that's coming in the next few weeks. Come on out here. Over here we have the kids' garden area, the main garden area. We call it Joey's Garden because Joey loved working in the garden so much. And we have 10 beds, so we have a couple of different farmers and gardeners that come and work with the kids. And just over the last few days, they have been preparing all the garden beds to plant for the fall. And uh, I think every child will, uh, there's probably two children per bed and they get to kind of be part of deciding what they're gonna plant. We also have all kinds of blueberry uh, bushes. We have blackberries, we have raspberries, all kinds of things here too. In here we have a garden shed. where the kids store all their gardening supplies. And uh, they spend a lot of time in here learning about the outdoors and gardening. And in here we have four baby peacocks. I wouldn't say that we have a really great use for them other than that's something we've been wanting to do and the kids are excited about. So this is our first time to have peacocks here on the farm. Out this gate is the greenhouse. My wife always wanted a greenhouse and I built her a little bitty one that uh, was kind of perfect for her, although she would have loved this one. Last year, we not only grew all kinds of things there in the garden and they started them all in here and the kids uh, learned so many different things, but they could also, we did a lot of hanging flower plants. And so the kids, I think we had about a hundred flower baskets. The kids put them together. Um, and when they were done growing, I think it was around the end of May, and the kids were able to sell them at our concerts and raise money, which was pretty neat. Not sure what they're gonna do this year, but this is where they keep all of their um, gardening supplies. That, and actually on really cold days, they're in here doing a lot of uh, school stuff. And then outside this side is the outdoor learning area, which is just a little ways from the Hobbit house. And so they can do fires here um, for special events and the kids can gather around. We can have people teaching here. The kids spend a lot of time playing in this area all the way around. That house on the other side is where my sister Candy lives and her husband. And we have a couple of big barns there and that's where we keep the horses. Um, in time, as I mentioned, an awful lot of the fields and all this will be part of the schoolhouse. So the kids will have different things. We're gonna put an orchard out here. The kids are gonna have sheep and we're gonna have some um, goats out here and some of those things will all be part of the big barnyard which is still a month or two away but it's pretty exciting let me show you a couple of other things how are we doing on time We're good. two minutes We're probably done yeah
These are turkeys. We've never raised turkeys before, but it's been a lot of fun. We have 19 of them. There's always a certain amount of attrition, so I think we started with a few more than that, but they're doing really, really well. The kids are having fun with them already. And over here we have more hens. So this is the school's little hen house where they get to go check eggs every day. We also, right over here, we have a pavilion where they do a lot of outdoor learning and then they have their playground. So the kids are on recess right now, but on the building to the right is where it's a brooder house. So they're raising a hundred baby chicks in there right now. And right here, we are putting up a round pin. We've got a cowboy coming to teach the kids all about horses and training horses and everything to do with horses. So that's a few days from now, so we're getting ready for him. It's amazing to see all that's happened here at the farm in the last 20 years, but especially what is happening at the I schoolhouse. To think about what it might become and the people that might be impacted by the little program that we're Hi, having Andy. every morning. Are you having fun? It's only the beginning oh. of the school year and our first day for the Facebook Live broadcast, but it's already so exciting. What if school could be different? Instead of classrooms spread out all over a big building, there was really only one. Where the kids could learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing, just like they are. <laughs> and what if the classroom was full of not only children of all ages and abilities, but teachers too? Where instead of only learning from certified educators, the kids could learn from farmers and fiddlers, soldiers and signers, from faraway faces to nearby neighbors, and also from other children who have something valuable to offer. And what if instead of teaching our children to value education, we educate our children about values in a place where everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher? Starting September 14th, we're leaving one chair and desk in the classroom empty for all the millions of kids who can't go to school right now and broadcasting live for an hour every morning. Bringing school home to any and every child who has access to the internet or cable television. This is the one room schoolhouse the whole world can fit in. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, Ms. Rebecca. I also, oh, thank you. I also want to say a very good morning to our friends at home. Thank you for joining us today for our very special hour. We've got a great day planned. But first, how else do we say good morning? What other language? Raise your hand if you know what other language. Kayla. Spanish. Spanish. Let me hear you say a very big buenos dias. Buenos dias. Wow, you guys are good. Oh. And autumn. What is another way we say good morning? Sign language. Sign language. What does that mean? We use our what? Yes. You guys ready? I love it. How did I know you guys said good morning, but I didn't hear anything? I didn't hear anything at all. How did I know you guys said good morning? Aubrey, what did you use instead of your mouth? Our you used your hands. So you don't even have to use your mouth. You use your hands. So we actually, instead of hearing with our ears, we hear with our eyes. It's Monday. Did everyone have a good weekend? Yes. Raise your hand. Who can tell me what is a weekend? What days of the week include a weekend? Mackenzie. Two days of the week. Two days of the week. And do you know what days those are? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. It's a weekend because do we come to school on the weekends? No. No, 
probably don't come to school on the weekends. Raise your hand. Tell me some things that you do on the weekends. Magnolia. So you have movie night here on the farm? Well, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. Josh, what do you do on the weekends? Okay. Hmm. Do you play outside? Yeah. I, I bet you do. I bet you do. Let's see. Caleb, what do you do on the weekends? I normally um, play with my brother. You play with your brother. I love that. Okay. Oh, yes. Aubrey. That's like the best kind of weekend he's in. Okay, two more of my friends. Henry, what do you do? That is so important. So Henry's saying he has an ant habitat, and when you have any kind of animals at home, you've got to make sure they're well taken care of. So Henry spends his time making sure that his ant habitat is, is good. Very good. Okay, yes, oh, my last friend, Autumn. Tell me what you do on the weekends. Um, um, watch Sonic. You watch Sonic. I love it. Okay, well, what do we normally do after we say good morning to each other? Louie, what do we do next? Um, me, me and my dad, we just stay home all day and we play with You do? What do we do in here after we say good morning? The Pledge of Allegiance. I want everyone to stand. I want my friends at home to join us. Everyone stand up. Face the flag. I'll ask you next time. Everyone face the flag, hand over your heart. Right hand over your heart. Yes, Josh, very good. When I'm... I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Have a seat. And I want you to raise your hand, and only your hand, if you would like to say our morning prayer. Josh, come on up. Oh, you changed your mind. Okay. Indiana, come on up, and we will say our prayer. Everyone, we have so many days of school. Everyone's going to get a chance to say the prayer, I promise. Okay? We're going to stand here. How do we say our prayer? Eyes closed, hands together. Say it loud. Dear God, thank you for me. Sorry. Magnolia. Autumn. And Kayla. And Henry. Aubrey. And Aiden the Blue. Lillian. For Kimberly, CJ, Weather, and, and, and Class of Amen. Amen. Thank you for that sweet prayer. I love when friends pray for friends, and we're all still learning each other's names, right? So I think that was beautifully said. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, today, so let's, let's talk about what we've done so far. In the mornings, we start with chores, and you guys did some chores this morning. Next, we have a special guest coming to be with you guys. Oh, but in order for our special guest to be able to arrive, I want everyone on your bottoms in class. Friends at home, we got a special guest coming today. I'm excited for you to meet, meet this person. I'm not going to give you much because you guys are really good guessers, but this person you may or may not know, you may or may not have seen before. This person has done some pretty cool things with their life, and they want to come and share with you about some things that they have done. Are you guys ready? Okay, now, for our friends here at school, I want you guys to have your best manners. 
have your best listening bodies. For you friends at home, hang tight because our friend is coming to school. Let's see who our friend is. Do I have a special guest coming in today? <laughs> it's Papa! Hi, kids. Hi, little. Can you guys say good morning to my friend? I get to be a special guest today. I'm your first time as a special guest. Hi, CJ. Hi, honey. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Little one. Hi. Oh, wait till you hear what he has planned for you guys today. I'm going to sit down and talk to you. You remember the other day I got to meet everybody a little bit? And I didn't get to talk to you very much. But you know why I'm the special guest today? Well, first off, every day... We're going to have different guests that will come and share with you doing different things. Some are farmers, some are cowboys, some are musicians, some are dancers, some are soldiers. I love that There will be a lot of different guests that come every day, but since uh, it's our first day to do a live schoolhouse, I'm the first guest. Um, you know why? Well, first off, what's my name? Papa. Papa. My real name is Mr. Rory, but Indiana always calls me Papa. So if you want to, you can call me Papa. Or you can call me Mr. Papa, <laughs> Mr. Rory, or Papa Troll. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we were talking about that the other day. Yes, we were talking about that. So guess where I live? I live right across the field, just past that barn right there. And that's where we live. And my, my, my birthday and... <laughs> okay, come be real quiet for a minute. And, 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 oh, for Christmas. Birthday. When we want to talk, we've got to raise our hands, right? So I live right across uh, on the other side of the barn. Me and Indy live there, and we've been living there a long, long time. Do you guys live close by or far away? Pretty close, right? Everybody lives really close by. I've met everybody's mama and daddy, and we're all getting to know each other. But I've been here for a long time. I've been here for 20 years living on this farm. And um, do you know what I do for a living? What? I'm a songwriter. That's what I always have done. I've been playing guitar and writing songs for a long time. So Your famous one. I'm, I don't know about that. But how about, a, can I sing a song for you? Yeah. Would that be okay? Let me get a guitar and I'll sing a song for you. You wondered why that guitar was there? That was for the special guest today. And that special guest is me today. Now, I've written lots and lots of songs. When I was a little boy... I, my father played guitar and sang, and when I was growing up, it made me want to play guitar and sing. And so when I started learning to play guitar, and I was, I was maybe, about, maybe about six or seven years older than most of you kids, I learned how to play guitar, and I also started writing songs. A lot of my songs, nobody ever hears but me. But every once in a while, one of my songs will play on the radio, and lots of people will hear it. And this is one of those songs. Can I sing a song for you? That'd be okay. Imagine a dirt road full of potholes and a creek bank with some cane poles catching channel cat. I'm a little more country than that. Think of a small town with an old hound laying out front of the courthouse as the old men chew the fat. I'm a little more country than that. I just want to make sure you know just who you're getting under this old hat. Girl, I'm not the kind of two-timer play games behind your back. I'm a little more country than that. Well, 
Think of a Hank song from days gone with steel right that's so strong it sends chills up your back. I'm a little more country than that. If you want a brick home in a school zone with the doors locked and alarms on, well, honey, you're way off track. I'm a little more country than that. Yeah, I'm sure that you've heard those three words from others, but they fell flat. This ring ain't something that I mean to give you and then take back. I'm a little more country than that. I'm a little more country than that. Fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. Guess what? I'm going to try and play another song for you. Would that be okay? Yes. Let me see. Some songs that I play are kind of silly, but some are, are uh, serious. But this one's kind of silly and kind of serious at the same time. I don't know if I remember this song, Andy. Let's try. Uh, in a farmhouse on a hill in Tennessee. With a pretty little lady next to me I held her hand and said a little prayer She took a deep breath and right out of thin air Came Indiana boom, Indiana boom Right into the room Came Indiana boom She's growing up so fast, she just turned five, six now. Going to a little schoolhouse across the drive. <clears throat> They've got a little garden, don't you know? They grow peas and carrots, but mostly they just grow kids like Indiana Boone, Indiana Boone. We're all in full bloom with Indiana Boom. That's your song, Indy. Okay. Besides playing music, guess what else I, I do? What? I write some books sometimes. And I've written a couple of kids' books. Remember the other day we came in and I got to read a book to you? Remember what book I read to you? What? The Gruffalo, that's a great book. And then I've written two books. This one is called The Cow Said Nay. I could read that one to you. Most cows don't say nay, right? Yeah. But this one does. And then the other one is The Day God Made You. So I've written two children's books. Which one do you think I should read? Whoa, everybody's pulling for different ones. Oh, there's a lot of, okay, okay. Cal said, nay, it is. This is kind of a silly one. It is kind of silly. All right. Who's that? Papa. That's right. This one's called The Cow Said Nay, A Farm Story. You know why it's a farm story? Because we live on a farm and our school is on a farm. Is that really based on you? Kind of. A little bit. There. That's my name, Rory Feek, Rory Somebody. I am Rory Somebody. There once was a cow in a barn who could see, a horse in a field who ran wild and free. If I was a horse, I could run free all day. And the cow opened his mouth and he let out a big, Yay! The horse heard the cow and he looked in the pond at the duck with the bill who swam all day long. If I were a duck, bet they'd stay off my back. And the horse reared back, and out came a quack, quack, quack. quack. The duck heard the horse, and he saw the sheep with a big winter coat two inches deep. If I were a sheep, well, that would be good. 
And the duck said, bah, as loud as he could. The sheep heard the duck, and he looked at the pig, using his nose in the deep mud to dig. If I were a pig, I could dig with my snout. And the sheep opened his mouth, and a <laughs> came out. Whoa, I'll go on this side now. The pig heard the sheep, and he looked in the yard at the dog on the porch who proudly stood guard. If I were a dog, I bet I could be tough. And the pig wiggled his tail, and he let out a woof. The, the dog heard the pig, and he looked in the house at the cat on the rug that was chasing a mouse. If I were a cat, I'd be inside right now. And the dog opened his mouth, and he let out a That's a funny dog. Uh-oh. The cat heard the dog, and he left the mouse there. And he looked at the farmer asleep in his chair. If I were a man, oh, the places I'd go. And then the cat purred and let out a hello. hello. The cat said hello. <laughs> the farmer opened his eyes when he heard the cat. And he thought to himself, did I really hear that? <laughs> then he walked to the barn and he opened the door and he heard some more things he'd not heard before. The cow said nay, and the horse said quack. The duck said bye, and the sheep oinked back. The pig said rough, and the dog said meow, as the cat and the farmer stood by the cow. Then the farmer smiled. What else could he do but open his mouth and let out a big... Mm. Did you like that book? Yes. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? It's really funny. You know what? Later on, in about a month or so, we've got another, like an author's day where maybe... Have you guys ever thought about writing your own book? Yeah. Would you guys like to write a book, maybe? Yeah. Maybe on that special day, we'll try and write a book together. Wouldn't that be fun? You made a book? Oh, wow, that's really wonderful. I'm going to show you a couple of other things. Do you remember the other day we were talking about the magic screen? Yeah. TV. TV. <laughs> you guys might have a TV at your house, but, it, but here, 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 in our, here in the schoolhouse, we don't have a TV. All we have is a magic screen because right now it doesn't live anywhere. It's not anywhere. But CJ is going to push this button and up will come the magic screen. Why can't I push it? Well, you have to take turns. Look. See, now you don't have a magic screen at your house. Only here. And the reason that this is a magic screen for us is that most of the time we're here on the farm and there's cows and pigs and ducks and chickens and all kinds of things around here. But today, and whenever we pull up the magic screen, we can bring things in here from far, far away. Sometimes it'll be people who will be other teachers from far away that we can learn things from. Sometimes we can see things. We could see the ocean from here. We could see the moon from here. We could see mountains from here, the earth from here like we did the other day. That's why it's a magic screen. Yes, sir. Um, We're, I'm going to show you something. Not that. I'm going to show you something that Miss Becca is going to pull up for, Pop, for Papa. Because um, I want to I show you how the school was made a long time ago. Um, hold on just a minute. Okay. Hold on just a minute. So years ago, when we moved into this farmhouse a long time ago... This was just a big field where there wasn't anything. And then we decided we would build a little schoolhouse here. And so guess what the first thing we had to do? What? We had to pick a spot because this was just a big field and there wasn't anything here. So we picked a spot and we dug a big hole and we poured some concrete down. And Indiana was walking around on the concrete making sure it worked real good. 
And so I'll play you a little video on our magic screen, and I'll tell you a little bit about how the school got built, okay? Like, right. the, like the whole thing? Well, I'll play some of it. First, we poured some concrete, and then they had to put some insulation so we stay warm. And then a whole bunch of people gathered around, and over one weekend, they helped us build this schoolhouse. A whole bunch of neighbors and friends. Kids came and worked. Indiana helped Papa. Lots of people came and worked, and they raised the sides of the building. One, two, three, four, and then they put the top on the building, and they kept going and going until it finally got that far along, and then they had to put the roof on, and then the whole building was done. Isn't that amazing? And this is when all we had was just the schoolhouse. Now we have a playground, we have a greenhouse, and we have garden shed and a hobbit house, and a whole bunch of other things. Oh, this is when we were working inside. This is the big room where we are right now. What's this again? Where is it? Oh, <laughs> this is when we were painting it and getting it all pretty. She was helping. Mostly she painted Papa's face and my nose. <laughs> and that was our magic screen that we were putting up, our big chalkboard. And this is what it looked like when it was done. We put up the flag. Hey, Papa, you should have put the flag next to George Washington because George Washington was the one who put the flag Where did all of that go? Did you see all that stuff that was there before? That was Indy and her little friend. There's a teepee, and we were playing music, and that's when they were little. When we first built the schoolhouse, guess what it was? It was a preschool. And then um, as time went on, it kept becoming something a little bit more. So the first year we had preschool because Indy was really little and we had some other kids. And then after that, it became a kindergarten. And guess what it is this year? First grade. It's a bunch of grades. Some of, some, who's in kindergarten? Do you know? And then next year, next year. Next year, you're going to be in first grade? Just a minute, Indy. So we're going to have this year. Yes, ma'am. Next year, I'm going to be in first grade. That's amazing. Yes, so we have, we have children here who are between kindergarten and first and second and third grade all in one classroom. And we have, this has been a special year this year because we get to have as many people as we're going to have. So we have about uh, 17 children on our big days. Today we have a couple kids who are at home. And uh, but we always leave one empty spot so that we can do school and we can share it with kids at home. Did you know that? And you know how we're sharing it with kids at home? That's because our friends that are here right now, Mr. Brandon, everybody wave to Mr. Brandon over there. Hi, Brandon. And Mr. Aaron back there. Who's your dad? are helping us. Do you know why? Because so, there's a lot of kids who are at home right now and they don't have anywhere to go to school and they can join us. So that's what we're doing here in the mornings for one special hour and every day we have a special guest. Yes, little one. Uh, some other time. Some other time. Hey, Papa. I bet he would have helped out with the school. We'll never know. Maybe we'll build a big barn someday and he can help with that. But he's not a builder anymore. Not a builder anymore? Do you guys have any um, animals at home? Yes. Let's raise your hand and we'll take turns and I'll find out. What animal do you have at home? I have guinea pigs and chickens. Guinea pigs and chickens? How many do you have? Uh, three chickens and two guinea pigs. Wow. What about you, uh, Jalen? We have some deer. Deer? Wow, are they pet deer or are they just wild ones? Sure, they're sort of wild sometimes um, because they sort of have like a nest. They clap a lot. And they and stay they nearby? Bird. Yeah, and they can die. What about you, CJ? What do you have at your house? Two dogs. Two dogs. And you, Louis? Uh, I have a pet hamster, maybe Mr. Dale. Yeah. I 
a pet hamster. Hold on a minute. We'll get to you. And Aiden, what do you have? A dog retriever and a dog called Connie. I like Connie. Yes, I love Connie. What do you have? I have a lot. You have a lot. What do you have? Chickens, you told pigeons. And, you have uh, chickens and pigeons? And a hermit crab, which is my pet. And a hermit crab? That's beautiful. I heard that your brother trains the pigeons. I know what you have, Indy Boone. And what do you have? Just a minute. Jacks and I have two dogs named Jackson Dixie. Jackson's huge, but he's only one Dixie older than Jackson. Wow. He's small. Wow. And what about you? What do you have, Isaiah? I have a dog. A dog. And Josh? I have hermit crab and dog. Hermit crab and a dog. There's a lot of hermit crabs. What about you, Audrey? Aubrey? We got cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. What about horses? No, I know you love horses, though. Henry, what do you have? Well, I have a, a cat named Sammy and some hens and, a, and one rooster. And, um, and I also have an ant on the Wonderful. What about you, Magnolia? You got a sister and a brother? Yeah. <laughs> I also have a dog. I know you did. And you guys are going to get ready to move into a new place, and you'll probably have a bunch of stuff. Guess what we have on the farm here? I know you guys have done a little bit of chores, but guess what animals we have here? Just a minute, Andy. We have four baby peacocks. Have you seen them yet? So we have a big farm here, and on the farm we have a lot of animals, but one of the main reasons we have animals, there's, there's two reasons. One, to raise to be more sustainable. Do you know what that means? That means to help take care of yourself and take care of your community. And so we have some animals for that. And some of it is to raise the, at the school the kids so that we can share and we can all learn together. So everything that we do on the farm, everything that we grow, gardens or animals, everything we grow we try and do with you kids. We have four little peacocks. We have a whole bunch of chickens and roosters. Did you guys go help take care of them this morning? Yeah. Did you get any eggs this morning? Yeah. How many did you get? Eight? A lot. A lot of eggs. I, they're just starting to really, really lay a whole bunch now. And one was blue. Oh, yes. We have multicolored eggs. And then did you, have you seen the pigs yet? Have you seen the pigs? No. All right. Well, we'll make a trip out. You guys will be helping take care of the pigs. Guess how many pigs we have? Four. Four pigs. And have you seen the cows? Yeah. How many cows do we have here? We have six. We have five, and then now we have a bull who's visiting. A bull. Yes. Did you guys go see them when you did your hay ride? Yeah. We will do some hay rides yeah. together. So, kids... My friends in here, some of our friends at home are commenting on the animals they have at their house. And Gabby, who's at home, hi Gabby, has goats, pigs, ducks, chickens, cats, and turkeys. Gabby, you've got a full house over there, sis, doesn't she? That's neat. That's a lot of animals. We've so before Papa gets ready to, to go, I know I have a few questions. So I know you guys probably have some questions. And my friends at home, if you guys have any questions for Papa on anything he spoke about today, ask your parents to help you. Ask some questions on the Facebook Live description for us, and we will try to get to those. In the meantime here, does anyone raising your hand have a question for Papa about anything he spoke about today? And I think I'm going to start because I'm very curious to know. How do you even begin? Like you, re you wrote a book about animals saying all different noises. What even makes you think of something like that? Well, sometimes when you're, when you're working on a book or a song or a story, you get a funny thought in your head. And the first funny thought that I had in my head was, what if a cow said nay instead of saying moo? And so I started thinking about, well, if the cow said nay, well, then what does the horse say? Quack. Yeah, and then everything has to say something different. And so that's really where it came from, is I had a funny idea, and that became more funny ideas. 
and it went all the way around till it came back to the farmer. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, yes, Autumn. Um, how, how do you know how to build a school? How do you know how to build a school? That's good a question. really good question. Here's how I built a school. I had a lot of people who knew how to build a school, and they helped us build the school. So I, I didn't have to know how to do it. We got to have a lot of folks around, Mr. Rex and Mr. Keith. Uncle Keith helped, and a whole bunch of people came and worked on this schoolhouse. How did you guys like, get, get the idea for building the school? Oh, that's a good question. How did we get the idea of building a school? Well... Part of our story is, is when we lived at the farm for a long, long time, um, when we had our little girl, Indiana, my wife, Indiana's mama, was going to homeschool Indy, and then when she passed away, we had to come up with another plan. Did you know that Indy's mama is buried in the cemetery back there? Yeah. And so we had to come up with another plan to go to school, and so we thought, wouldn't it be neat just to build a school here at home? And so we built this building, and now you guys are here with us, which is pretty special. It's a school at home and a homeschool all together. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think Isaiah has a question. Isaiah, do you have a question? Isaiah, there? you have a question? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it was, did you really write that book? <laughs> did I really write that book? I sure did. I really did write that book. Is that funny? <laughs> I need to give you guys, who has a copy of that book? Some of you do, but if you don't have one, I'll give you one and you can take it home. Who remembers, who remembers what it's yes. called when the person writes the book? What is he known as? The person who writes the book, Caleb. An author. An author. Anyone remember the name of the person who draws the pictures? An illustrator. An illustrator. Good job, Autumn. Good job. Very good. Okay, we have a few more friends at home commenting. The Hartley family has five dogs. You guys have more than I do at home. Five dogs and six chickens plus a rooster. Another friend, CJ. Hi, CJ. Oh, we have two CJs. Has a goat and three dogs. We have some general questions from our friends at home. They want to know how we take care of our animals, how we take care of our animals here on the farm. Papa, my friends here want to answer how, how we do that. So they feed them? They feed them. They We're already having a lot. We don't know. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah. Josh. Okay, Josh. for my friends at home and my friends here to be able to hear me, Autumn said that we give them food. It's very important. We also give them water. So the kids here go out and take care of the animals on the farm and help. What's some other things that are important? Food, water. What's some other things? Caleb. Yes, so if, if you know a storm is coming, you want to make sure they're protected under shelter, that's very, very good. What's one of my favorite things to do for animals? What do we need to give them a lot of? A lot of what, Jalen? A lot of love. A lot of love. They need a lot of love. Very good. Yes, Mackenzie, did you have a thought? So our friends, one of our friends at home is asking what peacocks eat. Anyone know what peacocks eat? Who did you give corn to this morning, Josh? You gave some corn to the chickens outside? We have 100 baby chicks, don't we? No. Is it 99? That's right. We had 100, now we have 99. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys go see them this morning? Yeah. How are they doing? Good. They're good. They're doing good. Do you know what we're going to be doing also in the beds out there? You guys worked on those the other day, mm -hmm. garden beds. Do you know what we're going to grow? What would you guys like to grow this year? Pumpkins? Pumpkins? What would you like to grow? Uh, I would like Just to a minute. grow um, um, apples. Apples? Ooh, we need some apple trees, don't we? I would like to put in some apple trees. Got to raise your hand. Wait for Miss Becca to call on you. Mackenzie? Watermelon. 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 Is that your favorite? Watermelon. Autumn, what do you want to grow? I want to grow grapes. Ooh, have a look. Okay. Grapes. We'll have okay. to plant some grapes. Josh? Can I have that, please? Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be fun to have a little pumpkin patch around here, wouldn't it? That would be so fun. Aubrey? Carrots. Carrots. I love it. Aiden? Watermelon. Watermelon. Jalen? 
gardens. I love it. Our friends at home, do you guys have gardens at home that you guys are growing things on? Um, right now we're going into a new season very soon. So we'll be using, we'll be going into the new fall season. So we'll be doing some things that handle the colder weather. Autumn, thank you for raising your hand. That's so kind. Pineapples. pineapples. I don't know if we can grow pineapples here. <laughs> I want to grow strawberries. Did you say pineapples? Yeah. I don't think we can grow pineapples here, but I think we can grow strawberries. Mm. We should grow those this spring. How about that? So I have a question. Another question for for Papa is, um, where? What do you? What do you spend your day doing? Like, where do you work? Do you hang out at home? Put your feet up? Watch TV all day? What do you? What do you do? Where do you go after this? Indiana, where does Papa work? In the milk house. In the milk house. In the milk house. Very good. <laughs> so Papa's office is right across here on the other side of the big building is the concert hall. And in the milk house is where my office is. And I work in there. And I do all kinds of things. I mostly do creative things. I make stories. And... Mm. I, I make videos, and I write songs, and I do all kinds of things. And also work here on the farm, and books. And I also have an office in downtown Columbia. Do you guys go to downtown Columbia sometimes? You do? And our family has a little restaurant. And guess what our restaurant's called? Marcy Joe's. Marcy Joe's. Have you been to our restaurant? Yes. It's really, really fun. Everyone we made, both of my sister's restaurants, it's a lot of fun. Maybe we'll take a field trip and we'll go there sometime. Would you guys like to do that? That would be fun. Isaiah had a really good question. Why do you call your office? Ask the question that you had. Why is my office called the milk house? Because it used to be a long time ago, that's where they milked the cows. And there, we'll go down and look at it sometime. They still have the stanchions, which is the places where... The cows used to be able, they would eat their grain, and that's where they'd milk them. So that part is still there, but now I have a desk in there, and that's where I do all my work. Do you still milk the cows? No, we don't have any cows to milk here right now, but please sit down, Indy. Please sit down. In the future, would you, do you think we should get a milk cow here? Yeah. But if we get a milk cow, we have to milk the cow twice a day. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Who's going to milk the cow? Me! Oh. What about at night? Oh. You guys will be home, and that means, Indiana, if we get a milk cow and everybody goes home at the end of the day, you and I have to go milk the cow by ourselves. Would that be okay? How would you milk the cow? Show me how you'd do it. Show me how. Show me how you milk a cow. Like this. Has anybody ever milked a cow before? No, I haven't. No. I'm going to tell you something. Well, sometime, sometime I think we should either get a milk cow here or we have some friends who have a big dairy and we can go learn how to milk a cow there. We're going to take lots of fun field trips, go to lots of interesting places. And as Rebecca was telling you earlier, every day, you guys have all kinds of things you're doing, but every day for one hour, we're going to have a special guest who's going to come in and teach you and talk with you about all different kinds of things. Yes, you have a question? That's probably the best plan. Just a minute, honey. That's the best plan. We should probably take a field trip, learn how to milk a cow, and then get a milk cow. Yes, Magnolia. I know how to milk a goat. You do? I bet it's the same. Same, same. So before we go and before we say bye to our friends um, at home. Just a minute, please. I, I want to say a big thank you to Papa for coming and being our special guest. How do we thank our friends? Round of applause. Bye. Round of applause. So the best thing about this is every day we are going, I have it for you, buddy. We are going to have, oh, hold on. My friends can't hear me if you guys are talking. I promise we'll have plenty of time to talk back to Papa, okay? So every day we're going to have a special guest come. So we 
um, we'll continue our day with all the things that we're gonna do. You guys have already done your chores. We got that out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go out into nature and do some playing and exploring. We're gonna do a little work later on. We're gonna have some lunches. Um, my friends at home, if there's anything specific that you guys would like to learn about with our special guests, please comment and let us know so we can bring those people in and have them teach us all the things. The same thing for you guys here. Yes, Magnolia. What is snack time? Oh, we're gonna have snack time in just a minute. Yeah, we got a busy day ahead of us. We got a lot of things to do, don't we? Um, did you guys enjoy having Papa as our special guest? Yes. Yes. He, what, did, what did we learn about? He, he writes books. He writes songs. He works, he works in an office that used to milk cows. How silly is that? And yes, we're going to go visit some restaurants and eat some good food. Oh, oh, you know what we could do too? Here's a thought when we go to Marcy Joe's. We can learn how to be the wait staff, serve people. We can learn how to cook. We can learn how to all about money and all that good stuff. We can know all about the restaurants. You've been all right. I love it. All righty, you guys. Can you guys say bye to our friends at home? We've got, a, we've got a busy day ahead. So all of our friends at home, thank you for joining us. Have a great day. These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Frist Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.